Today we will learn how to use QuickTime to easily create high-quality audio voiceover recordings and then how to convert them to MP3 files to use in your video editing software. Let's get started. To begin, find a quiet place without a lot of background noise to do your recording. Next, open QuickTime and navigate to the File menu. From here, we will choose New Audio Recording. The Audio Recording window will pop up. Click on the arrow to the right of the red recording button. This will bring up our microphone options. It's highly recommended to use an external microphone, such as a USB microphone, for voiceover recordings. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can just use the internal microphone on your computer. If you do have one and haven't already plugged it in, do so now. Choose whichever microphone you wish to use from the drop-down menu, and a check mark will appear next to it, letting you know QuickTime will use this choice. You can also choose which quality of recording you want. For best results, choose Maximum. Slide the volume slider all the way to the left to mute your recording playback. This will prevent any distracting feedback to happen while you're recording. When you are ready to start recording, hit the red recording button. QuickTime will begin to record and will show you a time count. When you are finished recording, click the black square stop button on the QuickTime window. This will change the QuickTime window to show your recording. You can click play to listen to what you recorded. If you are happy with your recording, your next step is to save it. You can do this by either navigating to the file menu and choosing save, which will bring up a menu where you can name your file and choose where to save it, for instance, on your desktop. Or you can simply click the red button at the top left, which will bring up a similar menu where you can name and save your file as desired. If you weren't happy with your recording and wish to do it over, you can also choose to delete the file here. QuickTime saves files as AIFF or Audio Interchange File Format, and we want to convert our file to MP3 so we can use it in our video editing software, such as iMovie. To do this, we will import our file into iTunes. We can do this by dragging and dropping it into the iTunes window from our desktop or by going to the File menu, choosing Add File to Library, and choosing our AIFF file from our desktop. Your file will show up in a folder called Unknown Album. Click on the album cover and you'll see your recording there. Click on it to highlight it, then go to the File menu, scroll down to Convert, then choose MP3 version. Your file will now show up as an MP3 in iTunes that you can then export to use in your video editing software. Export it by dragging it to your desktop or directly into your iMovie project media, or by clicking on the dots next to the song, choosing Copy, and then right-clicking on your desktop and choosing Paste. From here, you can add your MP3 file to any video editing software. So there you have it. You now know how to create an MP3 audio recording for your YouTube videos using QuickTime.